Hi, this is House Shrink here, showing you another one of my surrealist paintings. This one is called Solitude, and it's watercolor on paper. And you can see this very calm person in the middle of a lot of turmoil. One hand on the right on the top is trying to grab, the other one's trying to grab, and this person remains serene. And then over here, you see the apple, and the apple in my work is temptation or an option to make decisions. So there's the apple, there's the ocean in the back, the hands that are trying to grab and disturb your life, and yet this person remains calm. And you can see in the eyes, the calmness, the expression of solitude, and all the other objects and symbols are there for you to interpret them. You can interpret them any way you want to. There's not a right or a wrong. But solitude is the image, the symbol, that allows you to think about your own solitude. And think about what are those hands in your life, what are the hands that are distracting you from your journey, that are taking your serenity away, and that are moving you out of, out of your solitude. And then you will know what you need to do with those hands. And always go to the apple, which is the option that you have to make decisions. It, it was seen initially in Adam and Eve as temptation, but the way I look at it is an option on your journey to make the decisions that serve you well. So I hope you enjoy solitude and then you stay tuned for my videos. So not only am I a clinical psychologist, I'm also a surrealist painter. So make sure that you follow my work, stay tuned for all the videos that I'm doing, but I'm including every once in a while my surrealist paintings, which are an expression of my world in a visual way that you can look at it and see it as a projection of yourself and learn from it. So I hope you like it, enjoy, 